Hello, welcome back. Last time I did the Desert Palace, which got me the Pendant of Power and, just as importantly, the Power Glove. Huh. Power Glove? Power Pendant? Same place. Uh, I would like to start from Sanctuary, I think. So, now the Power Glove gets me access to a lot of things. So, I have a lot of stuff to do before I go to the third dungeon. I'm suspecting that won't be today. First of all, these stones, even the big ones of this sort, can be picked up by me now. It just takes Link a little while. Um, first thing I want to do... Oh, actually, I want to spend some money, because other things I would do would involve uh, getting more. Do I have two fairies in bottles? Um, I guess that's acceptable for now. Let's go past the magic shop, because there was a boulder in the way of that. And I'd like to see if I can find a thing beyond it. I think I might just be able to. Yeah, I don't have, like, full notes on, like, every place where one of those boulders is. This boulder's a different color. Can't mess with that yet. Not available. But this one right here, as the sign here says, The Waterfall of Wishing is just ahead, and that was a place I was advised to visit. This yellow tree has nothing special in it. I'm surprised. It's a different color from all the others. So let's go to the Waterfall of Wishing, at the very least. And I think there's more I can see beyond, too. Okay, so these you break with Pegasus Shoes. What's that sign say? The Waterfall of Wishing is just around the corner. <laughs> okay, so this place is a very thoroughly advertised tourist destination, huh? Alright, let's tour it. Punch of choo-choos to stop me from charging into them. Hey, bird. Go away. Does magic powder do anything to a crab? I randomly decide to try. Do you turn into a vegetable? Yes. Can I pick those up or something? So right, I can go north here. I cannot pick them up. I'm just an easier monster than the one that it was turned into, I guess. Zora is here to spit at me. Well, I did get that bomb. Right, okay, I have to do a thing before I can get to the Waterfall of Wishing. So let's go here. It's very, uh, very loud here. Oh man, I smacked a Zora into another Zora, that was fun. Can I get that with a boomerang? I believe I can. Yes. You're giving me lots of bombs. Uh, I could go east, but there's nothing for me there right now, so let's just go the proper way. Peace of heart, I'll get to you. How many do I have right now? Zero. Okay. Smack! Like, hit them in the air and they, like, really go flying. I guess it's, like, on the way up. Yeah, so they'll just come out and walk around and attack me directly if they want. Yeah, those guys have so many bombs. Wow. What does magic powder do to them? <laughs> I decided I must try this. Ow. Nothing. They are immune. Their scales protect them. Was that a bomb? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so Zoras carry lots of bombs. Wet fuse probably won't light. Except it will just fine. You don't have to light the fuse, you just set them down and they explode. I think it's... let's see... this path... ouch, want... Lots of fireballs being flung my way, unblockable by my current shield. Only I still had that magical shield from the previous adventure that a different Link went on. This is not the same Link, I think. Smack! Oops. 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 <laughs> Fortunately, going for a swim does not hurt Link. Alright, here's the spot. So there was a rumor about this somewhere in the world. I forget what the exact text was, but... Wahaha, what do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I want the flippers. But I don't just give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees a pair. What do you do? Pay 500 rupees. One pair of flippers coming up. I will give you a free bonus with your purchase. I will let you use the magic waterways of the sea folk, which link lakes and rivers. When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You never know where you'll surface. All right, cool. So, King Zora sells me the flippers for half my money, more than half my money. You bought Zora's flippers. With these, you should be able to swim even in deep water. All right. And then he's gone. I don't think I can interact with him again. It's just the one-time encounter there. But now I have flippers and I can swim. And it's nice. Required for lots of stuff. 
including the Waterfall of Wishing, which I have already walked by, but I'll walk by it again. Piece of Heart is here, by the way. I don't think I can... yeah, those, that, those leaves are pretty solid. Could jump down there. If I jump down here, do I see anything different at all? Not really. Okay. I'm a little slower in water than on uh, dry land, and a lot slower in deep water. Alright, so that was Zora's Domain. What is it? What does my map say when I'm here? Just, I'm here. Okay, sure. I never look at my map. I know my way around too well, sorry. <laughs> uh, well, that's just how it's gonna be. When I think of it, I will. Or if I have something interesting to show. Yeah, so there's one of those uh, whirlpools. I'll dive into that momentarily, but let's go here first. Waterfall of Wishing, just ahead. Mysterious Pond. What, you throw something in? Throw an item. Alright, let's throw the bow. And a fairy appears. Hello there, did you drop this? Yes. I will give this back to you then. Don't drop it again. <laughs> okay. So you could try throwing every item in your inventory in there if you want. But I think I know the specific ones that uh, give me something better. So this is a way to trade stuff like regular boomerang for a different boomerang, I believe. I like an honest person. I will give you something better in return. If you say no, she'll still give the item back to you, just less happily about it. You got the magical boomerang. You can throw this faster and farther than your old one. Great. It turns red and it's sparkly and faster and goes farther. Like they say. Uh, let's see... I can throw at least one more thing. I think there is only one more. Let's look at my full inventory here. And this weird little scrolling thingy, I just steer... Okay, so both left and right and up and down do the same things. Uh... Sword, shield, fairy bottle, and that's it. I think the only other thing I can upgrade right now is my shield. Doesn't cost anything. Just come here, throw stuff in, get something better. Your shield is improved! Now you can defend yourself against fireballs. Great! So like the ones that Zora was shooting at me. And now I look a little different. Alright, cool. So, upgraded shield, upgraded boomerang. For any times that might matter. It might. Okay, um, let's try this whirlpool. I don't know where this goes. Like Zora says, you never know where you'll go. Okay, I am a place I've never been before. All the way here. Okay. Oh, I found the other money sink in the game. Okay, this is good, actually. Let's spend some money. Let's spend all the money. Pot of happiness. Throw some rupees in and your wishes will surely come tr uh, true. Throw 20 rupees. And then it gives me like a little fortune or something. Happiness increased 20 rupees and totally your happiness is 20. You became happier by one step. For reference today, you will have big trouble. <laughs> I don't think those mean anything. I think it's just, just this game being this game. Like this is a Japanese thing. I, I can't really like explain it because I don't know much about it, but there's great luck. There's something about this. Man, I'm doing like the worst job at saying what I want to say here, but you know. So I have to do this five times to get to a hundred. Then it becomes easier to do. I could throw five at a time, but that would just mean I need to do it more times. If there is some significance to those fortunes, I do not know it. As far as I have ever known, they mean literally nothing. Alright. Great luck. Cool. And this should get me to 100. I came here with exactly 500, so it's easy to keep track. Mm-hmm. And a fairy appears. I will make your wish come true. I want to carry more bumps. Then I will increase your carrying ability so you can carry 15 bombs at maximum. This is just a small happiness I can give to you. So, uh, I bet you'd like to have more bombs has come back in the form of a uh, place to throw money and get a fairy to appear. 
but arrows also exist and I can upgrade those too. 50 rupees! So once Link understands the system, he can uh, throw a lot more in at a time. But you never get to like throw in a hundred at a time. <laughs> kind of weird the way it is. I guess if I was like down to 35 arrows at maximum, great. I guess if I was down to like 25 rupees left and I knew I was getting like 999 coming up, then I could throw some in and buffer them up and come back and I don't know. There's, there's not much point in throwing less than the maximum, ever. Alright, I guess I'm going to throw in enough to upgrade each thing once more. Sure, let's do that. Won't take too long. I could throw in all my money. I'll save a hundred, I guess. In case I, by surprise, need a bunch of money. I do want to visit the fortune teller and see what they say about my current situation. I know where I'm going, but I want to know what the fortune teller thinks about it. Alright, twice more. I don't remember what the maximum maximum is. I want to say 30 and 50, but I don't know if that's accurate. 20 and 40 will do just fine for me for now, and I'll make another visit here when I have too much money again someday. Once it's actually at the maximum and I try to upgrade again, she'll just give my money back to me. Okay, so that would be another 400 to get to maximum if it is 30 and 50. It might be more than that, I forget. Anyway, so I'm here at Lake Hylia, um, near where I found the ice rod the first time. I think there's like one other thing to see here, but I'm not sure if I can do anything about it right now. That's a whirlpool I can warp with. That's a whirlpool that Azora comes out of. That's a waterfall that's of no interest to me. Where does this go? Yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly hard to get into. Um, there we go. Okay, I'm now near the forest. What's my next goal? I had a plan once my money was low. Yeah, this is convenient enough. Okay, so I think there's nothing more I can do at the lake right now. Um, so that's fine. This is a good spot to be. So let's go to this graveyard and do some stuff. Now that I can pick up stones, I can access some things I couldn't access before, like this gravestone. And that one has a hole under it. And now, check it out, I'm back here. Remember from long ago, this bombable wall uh, that I had no bombs to do anything about. I got something better than bombs. Since that crack goes all the way around, it can actually just dash into those. Some can be knocked over with Pegasus shoes. Some require bombs. 300 rupees, so that's why I went and visited the um, uh, wishing fountain, whatever it is, the, the fairy fountain thing in the lake before coming here, because I knew there was money here. And yeah, at this point I think I could afford all the upgrades if my numbers are right, but I'm not sure about them. And that is the one and only way to reaccess this little dungeon. I think? I don't think you can still go through the castle. Can you? Hold on, now I want to check this. I think without Zelda's help, Link alone can't push over the shelf, right? Well, let's find out. That one has a chest next to it, so I can't even attempt to push it in that direction. <laughs> Those two are just like, Link, what the heck, you're back there again? How'd that happen? Alright, now I'm gonna do something silly. Um, give me a moment. First, we're going down here. This right here, what I'm doing, is helping me practice the route for doing something silly. Now, okay, so I can fall in the hole that I initially used to get to... Right, so I can lift this now. That I initially used to get in the castle walls, but the gates just open right now. 
Even to my kind. Wanted criminal. So yeah, just out of curiosity. Like, I can go here. The castle is it's still there. The door still opens for me. But I think the shelf just won't push, right? Yeah, shelf just won't push. I need Zelda's help. Okay, you can't push it the other way. Okay. I could probably walk, like, all the way up to the back end of that shelf if I went in from that graveyard entrance, probably. Okay, let's do something silly. So I'm gonna save and quit. This might take a few attempts because it's pretty tight, but there's a weird little Easter egg here. Let's see if I can get it first try, if I'm even remembering how this works. I didn't know about this until I read about it on the internet or in a magazine or something. But if I start here, from Sanctuary, and I go very quickly to a very specific spot, a special thing happens. So I go here, I go here, I'm gonna move quickly. Uh, I needed to have been a bit more north. I think it was maybe faster to walk than to dash there because that positioned me for this. Okay, don't crash there. Okay, I want to be here. Lift this. And I want to fall down this, oh shoot, this hole very quickly. So if I didn't make it, that crash was why. I did not make it, let's try again. Start from Sanctuary. Go fast. Pretty sure there isn't a quicker way than this route that I'm taking. Okay, this was definitely quicker that way. Just optimize your dashes. Get on this path exactly. Okay, that should have done it. That was pretty optimal. No, it didn't. This is how I do this, right? I think it is. Hmm. Okay, I did some research and learned several things. So apparently I was acting on what ends up being a false rumor about speed. Uh, this works a little bit differently. Okay, this was, this was an educational little internet search. Uh, so speed doesn't matter. That's just one of those false bits of information that's passed around according to the information I just found, assuming that's accurate. So let's try doing this differently. Um, so I'm going to go here, get close to the south edge of the screen, place a bomb, get pushed south by it, be on the very south edge of the screen, start charging s uh, north, face south. So according to what I just read, I have set myself up to get to a special thing and speed has nothing to do with it. So I can just walk over here and take my time and jump down that hole. As long as I'm jumping from the south, if I've read all this correctly, I'll go to a special place. I could have triggered it by accident in the thing that I was doing, if my research made sense. So let's try this. There we go. Okay, now I'm in a weird place with lots of rupees, a telepathy tile that says, My name is Chris Houlihan. This is my top secret room. Keep it between us, okay? So, um, apparently this is, like, accessed via a glitch. Rumor has it that some person named Chris Houlihan won a, like, Nintendo Power contest or something to get his name put into a, uh, a game, and this is where it ended up. And the explanation that I heard was that the last- oh, now I come out of Link's house. The last screen where I transition south out of, I have to be particularly close to the south of it and moving fast, and that triggers the the apparently glitch condition when falling down a hole, like that hole. There are multiple holes where this works, apparently, um, to get to the weird room. So it's like a fail-safe because I was sent to the wrong location, but instead I go there. Okay, so that was a lot more complicated than I thought. 
And the reason that it could work to race there is because I would I have gotten there that way before by by just running from sanctuary as fast as possible. Um, I could have just oops, um, accidentally landed at the correct pixel when tr transitioning south out of the last screen before the castle to uh, to get to the spot. Okay, and that was interesting and educational. I don't know how much I can trust the information I just learned and repeated right here. But it worked first try and the others didn't, so that sounds good. Okay, so uh, next up, Fortune Teller. Let's talk to one of those. Also, there's a spot on this screen that I haven't shown yet. Um, I used this a lot when I was less good at the combat in this game. Does this have anything in it? Yeah, a fairy. So there's a fairy here, and if you want even more fairies than that, I can knock over this pile of rocks and find very close to Link's house a fountain with four fairies. Um, I want to actually discard a fairy, and I want that good bee again, because I want to use it in a fight in the future, because I just have not played with bees very much. I want to learn some things about their behavior. I've learned that they fight for me for a while, and then they go away. Good bee's a bit of a trip away, but I'm going to make that trip. And you know what? I had things to do at the lake, too. I got interrupted by a whirlpool. So if I return there... Let's resume what I was doing. I just wanted to look around. Hold on, this is... Yeah, this is the lake. This is one way to get to it. Although if I want to get to the ice rod, I kind of have to stay on the shore here, so never mind. Uh, so, good bee. Alright, good bee is in this thing. It's not a one-time thing, right? It doesn't seem to be. Question, can I create a second good bee if I leave and come back? I could have two in a bottle. I'd like to have one fairy in a bottle, just as insurance. Because this game can be kind of dangerous sometimes. Second good bee does not exist while the... Yeah, it's just, just the one individual. When it leaves my presence, it returns to that statue. As far as I know, that's just the one spot in the game where you can get a good bee, and the rest, regular bees, are just found randomly in bushes. But I am learning that there is a lot that I have to learn about this game still. Okay, so I'm on the lake. I'm going to check this real quick just because I know there's a piece of heart here, but I think I can't get to it yet, right? Uh, the map looks like that. Yeah, so that little landmass just to the west of where I wished for bombs and arrows, which I could wish for more of now. I don't feel like it. I'll keep my money right, and fortune teller. I was heading to one of those, and then I got sidetracked. Yeah, that piece of heart. Up high, no way for me currently to reach. But that's fine, I'm at the fortune teller's place now. Right, I still haven't put any, um, potions in my bottles yet, but... I've had other business to do with them. So, fortune teller, what do you currently have to say? Even the mighty Master Sword cannot harm the wizard's body. Oh, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ten rupees this time. You decided to not charge me too much. Okay. Alright, so, anyway. Um, I think I am ready to proceed. Um, I think there's nothing else I can get with the Power Glove right now that's of interest. There's probably at least one thing that I'm forgetting. Just look at the map for a moment and think about it. I know of one cave that I'm pretty sure I can get into now. I don't remember what's in it, but let's check it. Yeah, because I didn't walk out of the desert. I saved and quit instead. I didn't walk by this thing. It'd be pretty quick to get there. It's just over here. There could be a piece of heart. There could be, like, rupees or something. Could be nothing at all. I don't think it's this one, it's the lower one over there. Oops, I killed something. You have a stairway. Ah, it's another thief guy. Do you give me money? Check out the cave east of Lake Hylia. Strange and wonderful things live in it. I think that's maybe like... supposed to be the hint at the good bee. Could I repeatedly get these rupees if I wanted to go back in here? Just out of curiosity, or do they not come back? 
Strange and wonderful things. Yeah, okay, so you can just, like, farm money real fast there. Okay, so good money farm spots. Uh, okay, and I'm pretty sure in the desert itself I've seen all that there is to see right now. That stone is black. So, let's take a journey toward the third dungeon. I won't get to that today, but, um... It gives me a checkpoint of sorts when I go there, and also is kind of a, a thing on its own. This will take some time. Not quite a dungeon-sized activity, but it is not small. Uh, I need to get... Restarting at Sanctuary would be quicker. Except then I'd have to wait through that Triforce animation at the start of the game, which always takes just so long to finish playing. So I'm just going to walk there manually. Let's see, I talked to Sahasrila after having gotten the Ice Rod. Oh, I probably could have... right, if I'd remembered the waterways, I could have taken a Whirlpool to get here quicker. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, there's one more Grave of Interest here that I have not been able to get to yet, and it's all uh, surrounded by black stones that I can't currently lift. So, nothing to do with it. I should have gone west around the castle instead of east. That's fine. I'm here now. So. Let's go up this mountain. Because if I would look at my map, which I always forget to do. Master Sword is there, can't do anything about that now. Final Pendant is on top of Death Mountain. And Death Mountain happens to be blocked by a big white stone. Magic, I will take that, thank you. What's this say? Danger, do not enter Death Mountain without the King's permission. Right. King is dead, nobody has to worry about that anymore. <laughs> wow, cold. It's dark in here. I think there's a... Ch no, there's just a hole this way. Can I... No, I can't skirt around that hole. Okay, so just, just a hole here. And I respawn all the way back at the entrance. Okay. So just a little maze in the dark. Uh, there's a man there. I'll talk to him momentarily. That's a hole. And here's the other end of that hole I saw, I think. Okay. So, my theory that I was thinking about was that this is one of the wise men's descendants that uh, Sahasrila mentioned. I don't know who you are, but if you are going to go up the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so... Old man, all bent over, can't run very fast. <laughs> so I'm slow when I... Uh... Pegasus run with him with me. Uh, watch your step. There are holes in the ground. Can you turn right here? Young man, are you also going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. He says turn right. If I turn left, I get to a dead end. Very quickly. And if you keep on turning right and just go straight... He didn't tell me to turn left at the hole here. He gives two instructions and they are both turn right. Oh, I didn't know about this. Oh, there must be a heart in the bottle. Okay, what? What's... why is... <laughs> I don't know why that line of text exists. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Ah, uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who is your age. The king took her to the castle and she never returned. Yes, okay, so this just like 100% confirms it. Uh, all the... The girls who vanished were descendants of the wise men, and this is her, uh, his, her, her grandfather. <laughs> Whoa. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he is trying to somehow use the power of the descendants of the wise men. <laughs> okay. It is made, like, absolutely explicit. <laughs> no theorizing necessary. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Oh, that was a much shorter journey than I thought I remembered. Okay. These you can't kill. They just turn to stone for a while once you stab them. And kind of get in your way, because they do become solid obstacles. The missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. I wait for that day. Uh, these are dangerous times. I talk too much. Anyway, thank you for your kindness to an old man like me. Uh, I wanted to give you this. If you wander into a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. Why was this man climbing the mountain? He was advising me to stay off it. What's his business here? Did he say and I just auto-read it because I've seen this text so many times and forgot? I don't think he said. Anyway, if you wander into a magical transport, gaze into this mirror. He gave you the magic mirror. This mirror is blue, clear, and beautiful. 
you feel like it's going to absorb you into another world. Real important item here. He's doing this on his own. Boulder's falling. He now lives here. The wizard has deceived the king, and he is, and now he is trying to open the way to the dark world. To complete your quest, you will need the moon pearl, which is in the tower on top of the mountain. All I can do for you now is to comfort your weariness. Come back here anytime. Okay, and by come back here anytime, he means that if I were to save and quit right now... Oh, before I do that, let's try this mirror. It makes a noise and does nothing. Uh, if I were to save and quit, now instead of just being able to choose... To oh! When I've saved and quit, I can just press a button to go here right away. I don't have to wait for that except at console reset. Okay. Anyway, so I can start from the mountain cave now. I get a third option. So we're going to do that next time and... Uh, all right, I have no map at all here. Can't map anything. Uh, there's a bit of exploring to do on the mountain before the dungeon. Yeah, it's a big place and we've only seen, you know, this much of it. Many cave entrances. And this whole eastern section, which has almost nothing on it. I mean, there's some stuff, but like, not that much of interest. Anyway, yeah, so next time, Death Mountain and Dungeon 3. I'll see you then.